how you all doing? So today's park up, not great. Yeah, I decided to stay here last night because I went on quite late, as you probably remember, and I couldn't be asked to move. However, the downside of that is I basically woke up with a broken back. So if I put the camera straight, it's kind of like that. Which is not great for sleeping. <laughs> right, priority for now, make the video. Before you think it, no, I'm not going to get the kayak out. Uh, the first person that sees me on this lake will have an absolute meltdown, call everyone under the sun, probably the police as well, uh, and it will just be an over-dramatised nightmare that I'll have to deal with. So, yeah, I've done it before, that happened. I always do this when I get to a spot. I've literally just been sat here for the last 15 minutes, just looking out the window. I do really enjoy these seats. They're like proper lounge chairs, especially with this armrest. I should probably say that I don't really have any idea what I'm doing right now. I've got no plan, which is fine, but also it's getting a bit boring. I do need to move, do something soon. I'll get it figured out. I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, come on. I've talked about most of the van stuff I want to talk about. There's a few more things. I do have something I want to talk about today. I've had quite a few questions about. So we'll cover that a little bit. Let's see if the uh, drone charger is going to work. I haven't tried it yet. Please work because I have no other ideas. Green. Oh, yes. Oh no. Uh, yeah, that's not working, I don't think. Anyone got any ideas? It seems to just be turning on and then going off. Anyone got any ideas on that? I plug it into mains and it works. times a few million times what drone I use it is now Mavic 2 Pro uh, the Scotland stuff was on a Mavic Pro so yeah there you go Right folks, so 
you join me in the belly of the beast because I wanted to have a really quick talk about my electrics specifically the 240 or mains side because I've got quite an interesting little setup now and I've had the question a few times so I thought I'd share it with you it is a bit of a mess at the minute because it's not finished the 240 side is pretty much good but the 12 volt stuff sort of tucked in around it I've not done any cable management or anything yet, so bear with me on that. We'll start with this. This is the consumer unit. Now, it's a bit different from the old one I used to have because it's got quite a few uh, breakers on it because there's two separate circuits on this. The easiest way to explain it, I guess, is this is my inverter. This is a 2000 watt pure sine wave. Now, obviously, this powers... Uh, all of the main stuff in the van when I'm off grid or not plugged in. The way that that works is the inverter goes into the consumer unit so it's got the safety breaker uh, it comes out and goes to the sockets which are in the van this socket here uh, and they, they power, they're powered just by the inverter. You have to bear with me on this because my mate helped me do all of this um, I'm no electrician and this wizardry here kind of goes beyond me a little bit but that's the basic for the inverter that's what that does um so it powers everything off grid now under there you can see that thing so that's my hookup point from the outside and when that comes in uh, it goes through this and then it goes into this box here now this thing I'll pull it off for you so you can have a look. So this thing right here is, I don't even know how to describe it, an automatic changeover relay. Um, I'll just put the cover on so I don't shock myself. So I imagine some of you know what that is, but for those that don't, in a nutshell, power comes in. So this is all connected now, right? But the moment I plug in that uh, mains hookup, this thing here basically disconnects the inverter and throws everything onto a different circuit which is just powered off the mains so then all the plug sockets and all of that all of these plug sockets here and the mains battery charger which is down there they then come on automatically as soon as i plug the wire in and this is disabled does that make sense i hope that makes sense clever bit of kit this thing blew my mind <laughs> i mean realistically it's just a relay yeah i think it's brilliant so literally as soon as i plug in it changes over onto the complete different system so then all the sockets everything and the battery charger is all powered through the plug and not my batteries they're just being charged by the battery charger and then as the moment i disconnect that plug it goes straight back over onto the inverter again and then I can drive away and use everything seamlessly. Pretty clever, isn't it? So there you go. Uh, I'll go over the 12 volt stuff a bit more once it's actually done. Uh, but I've got some fiddling to do with it. There's various uh, bits and bobs to do. So I just took this thumbnail for yesterday's video. How oh, mental is this one look now? Oh my god, I love it. They're my uh, side spotlights that you saw in the tour video. That one's there. I just I love this van so much. I really believe that with the self builds, why I love them so much, the van is like not necessarily a reflection of your personality because uh, this one kind of makes me look like a murderer but it's just a way it's a, a means to express whatever you want that's why they're so brilliant any idea you have you just do it oh and i love lights as you can probably see so i've got a lot right, i've decided not to stay at the spot i'm gonna go do something else so something a little bit more 